Welcome to World Insight, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates out there. In the silent, unending darkness, a tiny emissary from Earth continues its lonely voyage. Launched nearly half a century ago, the Voyager 2 spacecraft has traveled farther than any human has ever dreamed of going. This small machine no bigger than a car has journeyed billions of kilometers, past giant planets and icy moons, carrying the sounds and images of our world. It is a message in a bottle, thrown into the vastness of space, a greeting from a species that dared to look up and wonder. Voyager 2's journey is our journey, a story of exploration written across the solar system. Now it has sailed beyond Neptune into a region where no spacecraft has ever been before. It is exploring the final frontier of our sun's influence where the solar wind gives way to the gales of interstellar space. And from this distant shore it has just sent back a message so profound it challenges everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos. This is a story about that discovery, a tale of a machine built by human hands traveling to the very edge of our solar neighborhood. So let us travel together across the vast distances of space and time to witness what Voyager 2 has seen on our behalf. What is Voyager 2? A relic of 1970s technology, launched in 1977 for a five-year mission to study Jupiter and Saturn. The phone in your pocket has more computing power than Voyager, yet it has endured, powered by plutonium, outlasting all expectations. Its mission was made possible by a rare planetary alignment, allowing it to slingshot from Jupiter to Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. For Uranus and Neptune, it was humanity's only close-up visit. Voyager 2 revealed rings around Jupiter, volcanoes on Io and strange terrain on Triton. It carries the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds and images, greetings in 55 languages and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. After its planetary encounters, Voyager 2's mission was extended to reach the boundary of the solar system and enter interstellar space. Its instruments, repurposed to study the edge of the sun's domain, measured the thin soup of particles and magnetic fields. For decades it sailed onward, its signals growing fainter, until in late 2018, it finally crossed the line. Voyager 2 had officially left the nest and entered the cosmic wilderness. It became an interstellar pathfinder, venturing into a region no one had ever measured directly. Whether or not its message is ever found, Voyager 2 speaks to our hopes for connection in a vast and silent universe. Its journey continues, a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. To understand Voyager 2's latest discovery we first need to know where it is, the heliopause, the edge of the solar system. The sun creates a magnetic bubble, the heliosphere, by spewing out a constant stream of charged particles called the solar wind. This bubble shields us from the harsh radiation of deep space. Outside is the interstellar medium, a thin mix of gas, dust and cosmic rays swirling in the Milky Way's magnetic field. The heliopause is where the solar wind's outward pressure balances the inward pressure of the interstellar wind. Scientists expected a turbulent transition with a gradual increase in temperature and density as a spacecraft approached the heliopause. Voyager 1, which crossed in 2012, mostly confirmed these ideas. The edge of our solar system seemed a turbulent but predictable place. Everyone assumed Voyager 2 would tell a similar story, adding detail to a picture we thought we understood. But the universe had a different plan. Voyager 2's crossing would reveal something no one expected. The edge of our solar bubble was about to surprise us all. In late 2025, as Voyager 2 sent its faint signals back across 25 billion kilometers, scientists noticed something impossible. The spacecraft's plasma instrument detected a sudden violent spike in temperature, hotter than the center of the sun. Voyager 2 flew through a region of superheated plasma that simply should not exist, spanning hundreds of millions of kilometers. The energy required to heat this thin gas was immense, with no clear explanation. Even stranger this wall of fire was a one-way barrier, plasma outside the heliosphere was superheated, while the solar wind inside remained cool. The heliopause acted like a cosmic blast furnace but only projected its heat outward. This sharp stable temperature boundary defied the laws of thermodynamics. After passing through Voyager 2 entered interstellar space and the extreme heat vanished. The wall of fire was a feature confined to the very edge of our solar bubble. Voyager 2 had discovered a fundamental new structure at the edge of our solar system, one our best theories could not explain. The discovery of this firewall at the heliopause sends astrophysicists back to the drawing board. Existing models cannot account for such intense heat in this specific location. Where is the energy coming from? Some speculate about magnetic reconnection, but the scale is unprecedented. 
Perhaps the interstellar medium is more dynamic than we thought, or our solar system is moving through a patch of cosmic bad weather. This firewall might be temporary, or a permanent feature. The discovery forces us to reconsider plasma physics and how our solar bubble interacts with the galaxy. Solving this puzzle could reveal new truths about stars, galaxies, and the universe itself. Voyager 2's journey is filled with mind-boggling facts. Light takes over 23 hours to travel from Voyager 2 to Earth. A command takes nearly two days for a round trip. Its transmitter is as weak as a refrigerator light bulb, yet the deep space network can still hear its faint whispers. Powered by the slow decay of plutonium, Voyager 2 now operates on a shoestring energy budget. Engineers have had to make tough choices, shutting down instruments to conserve power. Contact may last until 2036, after which Voyager 2 will fall silent, though it will continue its journey for millions of years. Launched in 1977, it has outlasted its creators and become a multi-generational project. Its path will take it toward the Star Ross 248, but it will take 40,000 years to get close. In nearly 300,000 years, it will pass within 4.3 light years of Sirius. Voyager 2 is now a true interstellar object, a silent ambassador from Earth destined to wander the galaxy for eons. Its journey is just beginning, it is a legacy written in the stars, and it reminds us how vast and how enduring our reach can be. Why does this discovery matter? Because it's a profound lesson in cosmic humility. Even in our own backyard, the universe surprises us. The Heliopause Firewall is a new hazard for future interstellar missions, one we never knew was there. Voyager 2, our brave scout, has mapped out a danger zone for those who will follow. Its mission is a perfect example of how the most profound discoveries are often the ones you're not looking for. In an age demanding immediate results, Voyager's legacy is a powerful argument for pure curiosity. By venturing into the unknown we make our greatest leaps forward. Voyager 2's journey connects us to the cosmos, lifting our eyes from daily concerns to the grand narrative of the universe. The little spacecraft is our eyes and hands in the dark, showing us there is always more to explore. The universe awaits.